Have I ever parred or birdied 18 holes consecutively? Yeah, absolutely. I know I have. Have I done it here from the blue pads at my home course? Absolutely not. Failed three times now. This is attempt four at the bogey free challenge. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, welcome back to Disrespect Disc Golf. Please don't forget to like and subscribe below to the channel, it would mean a lot to me. This is attempt four at going bogey free from the long and very hard pads, the blue pads here at my home course, Four Palms, Jacksonville, Florida. We got some basket changes today. Um, hole one is farther than it typically is. So we're gonna see how that affects my round today. Um, I still have not gotten past hole seven. I think last time I made it through six holes and hole seven stopped me up. Um, once I get through seven, like six and seven are in the woods, those two holes are kind of like a tough stretch to get. I think the back nine should be easier to go bogey free on. This is 18 holes, so let's just get right to it. Um, I will have two shots off the first tee though because I didn't warm up, but besides that, no channel mulligan today. All right, two shots off the first. Gonna go with the arc first and then after that, Wraith. Gotta get the arm warmed up a little bit. This one is and the 377 position, so straight. So I kind of have to hit the left gap and have it turn a lot. It's pretty far down there. Sounds low all the way. Do a second shot here. Oh man, these are long pads and I gotta have some far drives today. Gonna go with the Wraith. Gotta have this puppy turn. Not quite turned enough. One more for kicks and giggles, but this won't be, uh, this won't count. Dude, that's so bad. <laughs> okay, should be easy par though. That right there just goes to show you gotta like warm up. <laughs> I always, I always just come to the course just cold and just literally just start throwing right away. And uh, it's weird. From the long tees, you gotta at least get the muscles loose a little bit because right there, I'm throwing like 60 or 70% power that I normally throw. So a lot worse than it normally is. Um, that's okay, I don't think it'll take me that long to get warmed up, so I'm okay with starting a little cold on the, the first tee here. Okay, I'm just taking my arc the first drive here. Just gotta get up and down. I'm kind of between like a jump putt and a small flick. I'll go with the flick with a pillar here. Cool. Right by the tree. Should be easy par. Alright, first part of the day. It's pretty close. Alright. You know, that would suck if I just bogey the first hole. <laughs> like, <laughs> I guess I would just delete the video and just restart everything. But, didn't bogey. Hole two. Doesn't really need an introduction. This one's super hard. Straight off the tee. Gonna go Grace. Have it turn a little bit. This one's like 380 or 390. Yeah, turn off that. Oh, that's great. That might be a birdie look, actually. Not that I need a birdie. Great spot here. Let's see if I can just capitalize get the birdie. Nice. Two holes. Bogey free. Off to hole three. Pink disc, baby. Hole three, 375. Really far tunnel shot. Gonna go with the arc here. Come out of it a little bit. Oh, interesting kick. Hopefully I can get up and down from there. Okay, not the best, not the worst. Just need to get a little forehand around. I'm only like 100 feet or less, maybe 80 feet from the basket. Just gotta do a little hyzer around this and just push it far enough to get close. I think that's great, cool. Should be four holes or three holes without a bogey. Okay, not as close as I would like on this one. Um, 15 feet or so for the par. Need to make this. Cool. Good stroke. Good stroke. Confidence boost right there. Three holes. Bogey free. Okay, hole four. 372. Up and to the right. Need something flippy. Gonna go with the grace here. Come out, and that's a birdie. Pan out! 
I think that's parked. Let's go. Absolutely parked it. Let's go. Maybe the mentality should just be to just try to birdie holes. Because if I think about, I don't want to bogey, I don't want to bogey, that's probably worse than thinking about like, let me birdie, let me birdie. So you got to say things in twos to have it quick, you know? Okay, hole five here. I raised the camera up so you can see the basket way down at the end. 418, they moved this one back as well. Super tricky. Um, got to get something to play here. Very tough shot. Going with the arc. <clears throat> Flip. Oh, that's great. Be beat those trees. Beat them, beat them, beat them. Yo, if that missed everything, I think I'm parked. I'm just telling you right now, man, they can move this basket back all they want to, and I'm still going to birdie. Almost ate my words, but it's in. Five holes, bogey free. That one is a bonus birdie if I'm playing a scoring round. Okay, here we go. The gauntlet, two holes in the woods to beat. If I beat them both, then that's the best I've ever done so far, and we have some new progress. I'm going to go redemption here. Straight up the gut, just want to hit the gap. It's only 270, so get at least 200. Easy par. Well, that might be a birdie if I misses that. Oh, bad tree, but that's that's very close. That's within 70 feet. It's gonna be a little half layup, half run. Just want to get it close. Oh. Yeah, parked. Cool. All right, that'll be six holes bogey for you. Let's go tap that in. Cool beans. Nice, easy par. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Time to make some progress and beat the next hole. All right, hole seven. This is in the par four position. That's one good thing about some of the baskets being extended. Forehand off a tee. We've got some wiggle room now. Since it's only 351 par four, it'll be hard to take a bogey. <laughs> That's sketchy. Not quite sure what I'm going to do yet here. Um, here's my lie. Oh boy, this is tough. I could just go flick roller up the right side and just try to make it skinny and miss the trees. Which I do like flick rollers, so I think I'm going to go with that play. I think I'm going to go with the grace here. Why not? Let's just get some good distance. Miss some of those. Yes! Okay, that's that's decently far. Up and down is not in the bag yet, but that should be close enough. So, pretty happy with that overall. Okay, here's the basket right in there. Okay, I think we're gonna go Waymaker here. Just do this right side. Skip. Perfect. Let's go. We're gonna get the whole eight. Oh, I can finally actually have a longer video on this series. <laughs> Should be able to tap in. Can't take anything for granted, though. We got a firefly on my disc. That's cool. Okay, finally unlocked a new hole on the series. Seven holes complete. This is the farthest that we've gone yet, guys. Let's freaking go. Next hole is in the open, so we're done with the woods. Um, still have some holes where trees are problematic, but we're not, like, going to be in thick woods. So, feeling pretty good. Next hole is like 420 or 430, so it is a longer hole. We got some OB left, danger, so let's see if I can uh, have a good drive. Okay, 443, we're going Wraith. Just need to go pretty straight the whole time. Flip up a tad. Get around that. Okay, right in the palm fronds, not too bad. Should be easy up and down from there. Easy three. I need to go for it here. Okay. Eight holes, baby. New territory. Still got to film all the tap-ins. Make all the tap-ins. Can't take anything for granted. Okay, hole nine. 393. Straight ahead, a little bit of a water carry. Going slingshot here. Watch out, mower guy. Okay, got caught up in that bush, but 
easy par from there, I think. All right, easy little up and down from here. I'll go try to get a little bit of run here. Oh. All right, good bid. Got to film every tap in, make every tap in. All those little tap ins are just confidence boosts. Hey guys, new milestones today. We're officially halfway through the course. Good stuff, good progress. Nine more holes to go, bogey free, and this series is a wrap. There's definitely some holes with out of bounds and uh, some stuff you need to worry about, so not necessarily a joy ride from here, but gonna play smart. Gonna go with the Roadrunner off the uh, left side here, have it come back to the right. Basket's straight in line here, so I kinda need it just to bend right along the contour of the ponds. Flow Roadrunner, here we go. <clears throat> Miss that big tree, please. Oh, right into it. <laughs> okay, that was kind of that was kind of sad, but should be easy par. Okay, I have some shade, which is some nice relief here. Um, huh. Wow, this is actually really tricky. I got to go like four hands, like up through there. I think. I go with the. Uh, I'll go with my black pillar. It's a little bit more grippy. Basket's just like. 80 or 90 feet just right there. Just gotta get up and down here. Oh boy. Okay, that tree kind of gobbled it a little bit. Um, I'm not super happy with that, but also it could be worse. So I have a putt to make though. Okay, this putt will be a key putt to continue on. Gotta make it. One take, one putt, jam it in there. And move to hole 11. I cannot believe this is a hole that I fall victim to. How do I fall victim to this hole? Attempt three was only until hole seven. This one, hole 10 trips me up. Oh, that's a disappointment for sure. This hole is so easy to play for par as well. Unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. Dang. Let me know in the comments how far you guys think I'm going to go next time on attempt five. Um, I got through like the hardest parts of the course. I got tripped up on uh, one of the average difficulty holes. So That can happen. It's just golf, you know, not perfect. Just uh, another day on the grind, you know. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.